Good morning and hello again from the Windy City uh, here in my hotel room and I wanted to take just a few moments to talk to you about something that I think is going to be a helpful tip for those of you that travel and are still trying to eat healthy or relatively healthy. Uh, it can be a big challenge especially when you are at a hotel that has a a big uh, breakfast available or a complimentary breakfast everything's there for free and uh, and you've got uh, bacon and eggs and sausage and uh, French toast uh, what else what else do they have down there they had uh, uh, waffles uh, pastries uh, just to name a few and let me be the first to say I'm not someone who gets on here and says oh I'm this perfect uh, person that eats healthy all of the time because that's not the case. As a matter of fact, uh, last night uh, we, uh, uh, when we were visiting with our friends, they uh, offered us some food and of course it wasn't uh, some of the, the healthiest uh, things that I would normally have eaten myself. But you know, you go with the flow and that's the point. But when you are in control and, and when it's just you or, or, or just your uh, close uh, family around you and you're planning what to eat, especially when you're traveling, you need to think about those options. And I've come here to talk to you about that. Now I did, I do like uh, yogurt once in a while and I did go down and, and grab some yogurt uh, at the uh, at the breakfast area. But we want to make healthy eating uh, easy and convenient Otherwise, it will become stressful, and then you've got a problem. But I took my Vitamix right here. You've got to have your Vitamix to go with you because it is, and it doesn't have to be a Vitamix. That's what I have, but, but take your blender. Number one, first point, take your blender. I got the base uh, over there plugged in. But uh, also, another great thing to have if you like bread, uh, and I, I do, I take my uh, sprouted grain. I, I like the Ezekiel organic Ezekiel bread there. Uh, great uh, thing if, if you're, now I know some of you are in the gluten-free and if you are, that's, uh, that's okay. Uh, but the point is, is to take, take the things that you eat. If you have toast in the morning, then, then just br bring it. It's not, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's not gonna go bad. Uh, just to take bread. Uh, it's not not like taking a dairy product. And then, uh, you know, an almond butter or uh, organic almond butter or peanut butter would be uh, a good choice. So I picked some of the picked some of this up just the other day, and so I have a little bit of that on my toast. And this one, this is bananas. Let me tell you, you've got to take your bananas here. So I picked some of these up, uh, these bananas here, uh, and it's just the way to go. Because bananas are a great snack when you're in the car. Uh, they fill you up, they give you energy, loaded with potassium, just, just you cannot leave home without your bananas. And if you, and if you run out, well, look around because unless you're traveling to some remote areas, Usually you can find a Kroger store that has an organic section. Uh, in my case, there's a Whole Foods just down the street, which is good because I was able to pick up a couple of other things. Because you may want to, uh, when you make your smoothies in the morning, you may want to add some other things to it, like some, uh, like some frozen berries, frozen blueberries. Uh, that way you get uh, more uh, of an antioxidant-rich uh, smoothie with, with plenty of of, uh, of nutrients, superfoods. That's what we need to keep us strong and to keep us healthy. And I've already had a couple of smoothies since I've been up here. It gives you the energy to, to take on what you need to take on. So these are just some practical ideas. This is not rocket science, obviously, but just some of the things. And just so it can keep the, uh, the rest of ourselves uh, in good shape, but don't forget your your colon formula, I'm serious, that's good. That can be a big problem on, on vacations. So uh, what can I say? So, you know, kind of find a, kind of find a, a rhythm and a, uh, 
kind of a way of, of doing things that works for you. Make it easy. Like I said, taking these items was quick. Grabbing my, my blender, uh, some, uh, some bread, some fiber formula, uh, grab some bananas. If you're near a natural food store, once you get to your destination, all the better. You can add things to it or, uh, or, or pick up some things that you weren't able to take uh, on your journey uh, before you left. So these are just things that I just wanted to remind you of that you can do that that way when you get back home, you don't feel like, oh, I feel so like, just like I'm so full of junk food because chances are you're gonna eat a little bit of junk food regardless. It's just kind of gonna happen or it could happen at least. So, because you never know what your activities are gonna hold or who you're gonna meet or things like that. And, uh, and you wanna live in the real world. But at least in the mornings or whenever you are at your hotel, try to do what you can to, to, to do healthy uh, eating, if at all possible. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, always being so supportive. Uh, I will, uh, when I get back, I haven't been quite as uh, heavily involved on Steemit as I normally am, although I still have been somewhat even while I've been gone. But uh, I'll uh, look forward to uh, checking out more of your posts uh, in the days to come, be back home in a couple of days. Please, thank you, and I please ask you to upvote and uh, and to resteam and and to comment below if uh, if you uh, if you like what I do. Uh, you can comment below, and don't forget to follow us at, at Breaking Tonight. Catch you next time. Bye bye.